Welcome to the National Safe Tractor and Machinery Operation Program, brought to you by the Cornell Cooperative Extension of Cayuga County. Today's video will discuss injuries involving youth and farm work. It is difficult to determine accurate statistics involving farm injuries for youth. There's a few reasons for this. One, youth don't tend to work in other occupations um, that are hazardous like construction or mining. Um, so there definitely are more injuries involving youth and farm work. Also, youth don't work regularly enough or in large enough numbers to be counted in most studies. And the studies that are out there tend to be voluntary and they rely on farmers to contribute their statistics and the actual numbers may actually be higher than what we have. So let's discuss uh, what is allowed on the farm to be done by children under the age of 16. You can start by milking cows, feeding livestock, cleaning stables, scraping or spreading manure, mixing feed, moving livestock, hand picking vegetables, moving crops, equipment from the farm and the field. So there are very specific hazards that are involved in farm work. One being that you are around animals, so there's a big risk of being kicked, stepped on, or trampled. You can also become entangled or caught in machinery moving parts. There's a high amount of slipping and falling, including falling off of machinery and back and muscle strains. So this chart will, looks at the death rate by different industries. Now farming has one of the highest occupations for fatal work injuries. They are second only to truck driving. They are also in the top 10 for the amount of injuries. So estimates show that slightly more than 100 youth under the age of 20 are killed each year during farm work. The three leading causes of farm injuries in persons younger than the age of 20 include machinery, which accounts for 25% of fatalities, drowning accounts for about 16% of fatalities, and motor vehicles, including ATVs, account for about 17% of fatalities. When it comes to being injured on a farm, males are more often injured than females. There's usually around 15,000 injuries on a farm per year, and falls account for about 40% of the injuries. Um, most typically, the head, the hands, or the legs are involved in, in injuries in, uh, on the farm, and livestock or dairy farms are, have more injuries than crop farms. So the North American Guidelines for Children's Agricultural Tasks has put out guidelines to assist adults in assigning jobs to youth. When we're discussing 12 to 13 year olds, they tend to be more clumsy, they tend to be rebellious, they lack focus and they're easily distracted. They also like to take risks. Injuries among this age group include machinery entanglements. They believe they are too fast to get stuck. Head and spine injuries, usually from riding ATVs because they tend to go too fast and they are very competitive. Falls from machines, especially when you have extra riders on tractors, and sprains. Most of these kids are, have a lot of growing muscles and they work those muscles a little bit too hard. The uh, appropriate task for a 12 to 13 year old will include hand raking or digging, using some power tools as long as they're under supervision, operating a lawn mower or a garden tractor, handling or assisting with animals and other low risk tasks.
16 to 18 year olds tend to be more aggressive in their in their mannerisms. They take risks. They tend to be overconfident and feel immortal. They, at this age, they also tend to experiment with independence. A lot of the same risk of injury occur at this age group as the other age groups. Although at this age group, they also tend to have the added risk of experimenting with drugs and alcohol, which do not mix with he handling heavy machinery. So appropriate tasks for this age group include using a use of tractors, including self-propelled machinery, augers, elevators, and other farm equipment, pulling oversized loads, and simultaneous use of multiple vehicles and application of chemicals with specific training and close supervision. The North American Guidelines for Children's Agriculture tasks have put out these guidelines and um, they have a list of appropriate tasks that are very useful for a, a youth worker and for the adults that are supervising them. So I recommend that you check out this website, cultivatesafety.org.